Well, in a crowded craft brewing industry, one Treasure State company manages to stand out. Lewis and Clark Brewing Company started in the capital city more than a decade ago and has come to gain national recognition. This Montana-made business continues to expand and one day could be looking at an international presence. When you first start to mash in, and that's where you're taking the, the malted barley and you've ground it up and now you're going to mix it with water in what's called the mash tun or the lotter tun, the smells that that generates in the morning are something that even to this day I still just walk through the brewery and stop once in a while and take a big whiff and say, wow, this is this is why I do what I do. Lewis and Clark Brewery owner Max Pigman took over Sleeping Giant Brewery 16 years ago, renaming it Lewis and Clark after the county and the famous explorers. But his interest in brewing started outside yeah, U.S. borders. I was stationed in the military, I was in the Air Force over in Japan and uh, had a hard time finding good beers. And so started home brewing here in Helena. And, uh, and that's where it all came from. What started at home has grown into a sprawling factory with state-of-the-art equipment pumping out some of Lewis and Clark's most popular brews like Miner's Gold and Prickly Pear Pale Ale. The best thing about it is the qualities. As craft brewing took off, Lewis and Clark rode the wave, switching from bottles to cans and seeing dramatic increases in sales. Last year, the brewery added a $9 million expansion, increasing production six times over. Now the summer months are very important to Lewis and Clark. It's when they do about 50% of their business. To give you an idea, all of these kegs here are empty. They've come back from restaurants in Montana in just the last two weeks. But as the scale increases, the familiar taste, Max assures us, stays the same. The brewery took home multiple awards recently at a competition in Denver. Three of the meddling beers were made in the expanded brewery. The beer that we're putting out at this point uh, really has the quality that the judges are saying, hey, this is really good beer. What makes it so special? Eggman points to Montana's amber waves of grain. Being able to utilize some of the best malted barley in the world, which is grown just north of us up uh, you know, in the Golden Triangle, and malted just north of us, uh, up just above Great Falls there, is a huge advantage. Eggman finds other ways to draw in customers in what's becoming a crowded craft brewing scene. But we've got uh, a plan of bringing out a new seasonal beer about every six weeks now. This month, a seasonal pumpkin brew entices customers. Recently, Pigman also allowed customers to start buying beer with the digital currency Bitcoin. Anything to keep things fresh, a strategy that's paying off. Here we are, you know, almost 17 years later, and it's, it's beyond my wildest dreams, uh, and it's just really a blessing. It actually tastes really good. As for what's next for the brewery, well, it might be international. Max says he's already traveled to Japan to talk with some interested clients. Reporting from Helena, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News. Max tells me Lewis and Clark currently distributes to all of Montana, Idaho, and eastern Washington, and soon will be available in Wyoming.